Sir, it is a good looking Saturday morning, a Sabbath, and it's a spectacular Saturday. Yeah, thank you. And then the way we're having trouble with this song is a spooky. <laughs> 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 but we got you. That's the that's thing that matters that we thank God for you. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that you got some news that we can use. because our daddy God gives it to us by Christ Jesus. We always triumph because he causes us to triumph and all things work together for our good because he is intentional in doing so, causing all things to work for our good. So, hey, BB, uh, our partner, got a chance to uh, a little extended play today and he brings that message right on home as we have been for uh, over three decades now sharing this truth with you that in order to save us, in order to save the day, because of love, the Lord Jesus put himself in harm's way. Friend, that's more than just rhetoric of something we call gospel, but it is the good news of our daddy God and his heart uh, for us that caused him not to spare his own son, but deliver him up for us all as such that our response will be and is that how shall he not with him freely give us all things? Yes, he has. Yes, he will. Yes, he is doing it. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Well, friend, it is so key for us uh, to get God's perspective on things in life because he sees everything. He knows everything. Uh, from the beginning to the end. He's the Alpha, the end, the Omega, the beginning and the end. He's got it all covered in the middle. You know, in our middle passages, as it were, it is the where the journey gets real, right? Uh, it is a challenge to sometimes to get started, but once we're started, uh, starting uh, is is the first step. But then it's walking through the middle passages of a journey with the end in mind that we are constantly on this path. We're always going from somewhere to something because we're always growing in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So growth and development is uh, the, 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 the course of our lives. And of course, as the Apostle Peter describes it in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 18, the atmosphere for that growth is in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why is that? Because as we get to know him, not only as a person, but we begin to discover his life and pattern and principles and teaching. His life is a light for us. St. John chapter 1 verse 4. And what does his life do for us? It gives us insight and wisdom into the mind and purposes of God and the life that God has for us. What does God want for us? You know, started the broadcast off talking from, uh, speaking from Romans chapter 8, verse 28, where it says, and we know all things work together for the good of those who love uh, God and are called according to his purpose. But then verse 29, which comes right after that, is so important, and it kind of further amplifies and gives us an understanding why we would believe that and know that it's so. For it says, for whom he did foreknow, but know beforehand, he also did predestinate, ordain, determine, establish. He did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his own son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. 
That simple passage reveals to us God's original intent and design in creating us in his image and likeness. It was that we, and remains that we, should be like Jesus, like his only begotten son, just like Jesus. So when I grew up, we used to sing the song, to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, all I want is to be like him. Well, friend, meek and lowly, humble and holy were the words that were used, but there's so many descriptors that we could use for him. The writer said, if we wrote everything that he did and that he taught us and the works that he did, so there wouldn't be enough works to books to contain it. Friend, that describes the potential of God in you. If he predestined you to be conformed to the image of his own son, it behooves you and me to get to know his son and then to see and watch his life his character, his ways, his compassion, his love, his power, his wisdom for the insight for you and I as to what Father is up to in your life, in my life. Well, when we understand that uh, and that this was the, what God did in Christ, saved us, saved the day, uh, we can begin to know and walk in the wisdom that all things are working together for our good because he is unceasingly and unwaveringly committed to his own will. He works everything. You hear me share this on the broadcast often after the counsel of his own will. Well, friend, what is his will for you and I to be conformed to the image of his own son? So whatever is going on in your life today, whether it be a temptation, trial, test of your faith, or an opportunity that is before you. In the midst of all of the environment of the circumstances and what you see going on around you, God is at work to accomplish and fulfill exactly what he, in his foreknowledge, ordained for you to be conformed to the image of his son. What about his son? He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. Every knee shall bow to him. He is the most and the greatest as the Father has bestowed it upon him. For that reason, friend, consider, remember, behold the great love the Father has bestowed upon you to be called sons of God. Compare your standard of life and your expectations to what you see in Jesus because that's what Father God intends for you. That's what he's up to. You conform to the image of Jesus as he is the firstborn among all of us who accept and walk in God's path because of him. This has been an hour <coughs> of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course right here, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day, knowing this together, 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 you and I, we are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love for, with others. We have a special opportunity for you today at 3 o'clock at the Connect Center, 5650 Sanderson Street, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. We have a fun event. Oh, he calls it a paint and date event, but it's open to everyone, couples and singles. We've got a vendor coming in that's going to give us an opportunity to learn how to paint a little bit, just have some fun. We're going to have some refreshments. It's going to be great fun, great fellowship. And we would love for you to be a part of it. You can, if you didn't get a chance to register, you can shoot, come and uh, at the door. We're not going to turn anybody away as long as we have seats. Uh, you're welcome to come and have some fun and be a part of that. All right. That's good news on this spectacular Saturday morning, P. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> went old school this morning, brother. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, sir. Keep on doing what you're doing. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. All right, Pastor. You have a great day now, okay? Yes, sir. Bye-bye now. All right. Well, hey, listen. Indeed, um, comparing and measuring things by God's design for us. And so when you see Jesus, yes, he is our Savior. He is our Lord. He is our King. He's our Redeemer. He's also our brother, our example, our model, our pattern. And so whatever you see in Jesus, the only difference, and I say it this way, of course, you know, disciple is not greater than his master, but disciple, apex of a discipleship is to be as his master. And so it is with us that the highest pinnacle of our life and walk is he's a king, we're a king. He's the king of us kings. He is the Lord. He is the Lord of us lords who he has delegated authority and come to live in, our, in us to show himself in and through us. Christ in you, the hope of glory. God's design for you in his plans for you fulfill. This is the great love Father God has bestowed upon us. First John chapter 3 verse 1 that we should be called the sons of God. Well hey we gotta go. Had a little technical difficulty this morning and I pray that this is a blessing to you. We, we, we share these things with you each morning just to empower your life, to enrich you, to inspire you, encourage you, build your faith, to see you grow personally and develop spiritually that your faith might be firmly fixed in the living God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. This is the God kind of life. All right, we got to go. But uh, we'd love to see you today at 3 o'clock. Um, and hey, remember this always. God loves himself some you. We do too. You matter to God. And you matter to us. Have a spectacular Saturday, a spectacular weekend. Get ready for a spectacular week. You are authorized by the one who made you, <clears throat> the one who made the day. You're here because he intended for you to be here. You're chosen to be here. Be, be spectacular. Live a spectacular life and share some of that spectacularness in you with those around you. Bye-bye for now. We'll talk to you.